Uh, following the shooting of uh, by a, um, a Kansas Javon City Belcher, chief, yeah. yeah, Javon Belcher, the Kansas City chief uh, linebacker, um, yeah. yep. he um, uh, Costas basically read, quoted a a guy who I think writes on Fox on Fox Sports. Yeah, he writes for Fox Sports. That's what's great. Fox uh, attacked Fox of the attacks against Costas for this. But the guy who, whose column he quoted on air was at Fox Sports. And basically saying that uh, if Belcher didn't have a gun, um, he and uh, his uh, mother, or the, the child of his mother, would probably be alive. Yeah, uh, I mean, all he did, and let me say quickly, just the last thing on the disabilities treaty before we switch, which yeah. is key for people to know, out of the eight that voted for it, three of them will no longer be there next time. Luger, Snow, and Brown. So the Republican Party's actually getting crazier, um, which he knew already, but just... To, to be clear, when it comes to the cost of thing, it's exactly a similar situation, which is the right. They're, they're, you're just, it's, this is one of these issues where you're just not allowed to discuss. Remember, there's never a time to discuss guns because after, right after a shooting, oh, my God, you're, you're exploiting it. Um, and that comes from Fox News, who's never exploited anything like, I don't know, 9-11, Iraq, <laughs> Katrina, uh, Benghazi, <laughs> and a million other things in between. But uh, you, you're not allowed to do that, and you're not allowed to talk about it because the right knows that if you do actually talk about it, 80 to 90% of people will agree with the people who have common sense on this. And all, all Costas was doing that night, he didn't even actually mention the word control. He didn't say anything about gun control. He just said this, there's a gun culture we have, the way we glorify guns, and that, a lot of that comes from the National Rifle Association and people like that you know, who, who like to, to tell people guns are the answer. You should be scared. Somebody's going to break into your house, probably somebody with a darker hue than you. You'd better protect yourself. Guns are the answer. I mean, they, they pump this crap out constantly and have created this culture where people feel like they have to have guns. And, and the part, he, you know, the word he quoted from that uh, was a great piece by this writer, Jason Whitlock, who said essentially that they, they bring guns bring out the worst in people. They allow you to do things. You, you end up picking fights you wouldn't otherwise pick. You behave. I mean, there's just no doubt. And, I mean, it's common sense, but studies will tell you that too. And so his point, you know, point was there's some things you can do by law. And he wasn't even talking about those. Other things you can do, you know, a lot of what changed behavior with cigarettes is when we change the culture around right. it. You know, um, around what was acceptable and what was expected of people. And I think that that's a, that is another facet of this, which I don't even often talk about, because I often talk about the politics and the right. law of it. Uh, and, and then, you know, when he went on shows afterwards, he did give his opinions, which were that we should have reasonable regulations and whatever. And, you know, a group I, I do, I always disclose, I do work with mayors against illegal guns. And what did we do after the election? We did polls in, in three swing states. I think we might have talked about this last week yep. in Colorado, Virginia, and North Carolina that showed that not only did people trust President Obama more than the NRA after the NRA dumped in $12 million trying to destroy him, but uh, so they failed on that count. Uh, they failed on, on electing their people. They got a 0.82% return on investment the Sunlight Foundation gave them. They lost six of seven Senate races they spent over $100,000 in. That's like it, a, a majority report marketing uh, ROI, as we call it. <laughs> you have to at least be at 0.83. I don't I know. Have to uh, what, what the NRA did on Election Day made Karl Rove look like he had a successful Election Day. Right. Let's put it that way. Um, and, and key, you know, I work with, again, I, as I said, I work with Mayors Against Illegal Guns. Well, one of the, the, the co-founders, Mayor Bloomberg, started a, a, a PAC, Independence PAC, going after people on, who are terrible on guns. And what happened in California, Joe Baca, blue dog who's terrible on everything from fiscal quote-unquote cliff to, uh, to guns to abortion rights and anything else that you probably believe in if you're listening, um, the, the new California system set it up so that you had the, t- the two top two vote getters in the primary, whatever party they were, would run the general. So you had a more progressive state senator running against this incumbent blue dog, and this, the, this PAC supporting reasonable gun regulation came in, attacked Baca, and he lost. Mm. So the key lesson now is that you don't just get to take free votes anymore on guns, which is so such an important lesson. That if you attack the Bob Costas out there, and if you support insane things like not having background checks, and you do that stuff, you, you, may, you may pay a price. In fact, it's likely you will pay a price. And yet, uh, and yet, and yet, and, the, and this again gets to this uh, broader point, if you had turned on Limbaugh the, day, the next day, he literally spent, I think, an hour of his show um, listing off occasions where people got killed, or were killed, I should say, or murdered, by something other than guns. Now, it's not hard in a country where we have, I don't know how many murders uh, over the course of a year, uh, you know, certainly double-digit thousands, uh, to come up with, 
you know, a dozen examples of someone being killed by a spatula or something. Uh, exactly. Um, I mean, honestly, that's what he was doing. And, right. and of course, you know, this is, this is the way that uh, Limbaugh makes his arguments. He finds uh, one uh, narrow example and then says, see, guns right. aren't the only thing that well, kills you, people. But any, of course, can you imagine taking that into any course in logic, Sam, showing up to a, a right. class in logic and right. bringing that the funny in? Thing is, the funny thing is, is half the things that he talked about were actually failed plots. Which right. just proved the point, you know, like uh, this woman tried to murder her husband by uh, feeding him fiberglass for, you know, uh, six weeks in his pudding. And he finally figured it out and uh, they ended up getting divorced. Well, that's the point. Had she used a gun and walked up to him in the head, boom, that would have been over in, 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 in a flash. See, that, that is the whole point. I mean, remember the time that that, that guy, uh, the Marine, and he lost his mind, Charles Whitman, climbed up into the bell tower at University of Texas, Austin, uh -huh. and started throwing knives down at everybody below and right. killed like 30 of them? Right. Remember that? Do you remember the time that the guy, uh, you know, who lost his mind in Aurora, Colorado, walked into a movie theater and uh, started throwing spatulas at people right. and killed 12 right. of them. I mean, it's just, I mean, that's why his, his, his argument is so utterly stupid. It's not, we're, nobody's sitting here saying the day that you have reasonable regulations of guns, the day that you, 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 that you start having a national background check so that people who are, are criminally, uh, you know, have, have been proven to be criminals and who are mentally unfit and others, you stop people, at least you try to stop as many people like that as possible from getting guns. And I, I will remind everybody, had those checks been in place, uh, and had that been a federal system, Columbine, uh, Virginia Tech, and a variety of the other recent massacres we've talked about would not have happened. It's not to say none would happen, and it's not to say that Javon Belcher wouldn't have still been able to do what he did. I don't know what his history was. But if you change laws and you change culture and you make it something where you don't, people don't feel like they have to have a gun to protect themselves, that they're not getting pumped all this propaganda by Fox News and by the, the NRA and others to, 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 you know, to be in a constant state of fear that somebody's coming to kill you, somebody's going to break in your house, which really happens very few times. Uh, statistically every year. So to say you shouldn't get a security system if that makes you feel safer or do whatever. But, you know, and again, this isn't even something that, that we're talking about in terms of law. It's culture. Right. It's that people shouldn't feel like well, that's <clears throat> what, what they should have to do, and some will anyhow. But that was the conversation, by the way, that he was trying to get started. And they don't want that conversation to happen, and that's why Rush Limbaugh will will, will do what he'll do. I, you actually, know, I actually think that they uh, – I think we're going to see more of that conversation because I think it's one of the few areas where the right feels they can agitate and not pay an electoral price. And, you know, they're going to need something. You know, like now that Benghazi doesn't seem to be capturing their imagination – uh, we, you know, you start to see like uh, the war on Christmas crop up because they got nothing yep. else to talk about. And then I think uh, guns is going to be a big part of it. But you're right. They need a constant. <laughs> they need a gun. I mean, they already did it with Fast and Furious, which right. is about 90 percent to 95 percent manufactured controversy. Uh, you know, it was a stupid decision made by some guys uh, in the ATF who had been left leaderless by who else but the NRA who wouldn't allow anybody to be confirmed in the Senate and were in disarray because of things that the NRA and the right did to make them be that way. And a dumb decision was made, and somehow that became a conspiracy all the way up to President Obama. And that, but that's what they – you're right. They, they will do that. The UN is another big one, too, which is why this disabilities thing was so perfect, because it's always one world government and black helicopters, and that's tied into everybody getting their guns taken away. They will keep trying to do it, but I think they're going to learn this lesson. They don't learn it from what just happened in this election – with how the NRA's people lost and how people that, 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 this, that this new super PAC supported won, they will learn it as these guys start going down because the very same demographics that won't allow them, <clears throat> won't allow them excuse me, to take away birth control, that won't allow them to stop gay marriage, that won't allow them to, to continue, continually stop efforts to, to at least legalize uh, or decriminalize pot, if not legalize it. The same demographics are, are exactly the same. Right. That minorities, women, College, those who are college educated and others are much more in favor of reasonable gun regulations, the Obama coalition, if you want to call it that, than the old white guys that Fox News appeals to.